I gotta tell. <laughs> What's up, guys? So I'm playing Search and Destroy live. My cousin might come in. Because, uh, you know, she just came from Cuba. She's like six years old. It's really annoying. Not really. But, uh, yeah, I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, so the reason why I'm uh, doing this is because I'm a huge Search and Destroy fan. And I just want to get Black Ops 3 to do Search and Destroy tutorials. Yes, I love Search and Destroy so much that I want to do fucking tutorials for it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing in this series, or I guess throughout this series, it's breaking down every fucking move I do, why I do it, all that good stuff. For example, I just died there because uh, I put myself in an unwanted situation. I also died there because, yeah, my aiming is really horrible. This is my first game back, and I was aiming at that dude really, really badly. Now, of course, one way you can avoid that is by, for example... Let me see, vertical is horizontal, it's moving side to side. Bomb active. Vertical is four. Okay, yeah. So what I like to do in search and destroy in Black Ops is I like to have the obviously only in search and destroy. I like to have the vertical sensitivity in a four. The reason for that is is because like that I can aim better. And of course in search and destroy, the number one thing that you want to do, sorry about that is you do want to have good aim because if you don't have good aim well guess what you're gonna get obliterated now the whole point of this series like i said is to break down you know all of my moves in search and destroy but i also want to give you guys some tips uh so even if i win or lose the game i'm still going to upload it because i'm mainly i'm just sharing some knowledge with you guys that i think it would come really really in handy okay so for example right here all of my team is going to be so obviously, I want to know if B is the right choice to do. Like, I get a hit marker there, I know there's an enemy, and there he is. He's on the floor. I kill him, then I go back and retreat. The reason for that is, is because when you, look at that, look at those skulls right there. That means the enemy team messed up my team, right? So now I see this dude here, what do I need to do? I need to go underwater, right? I know everybody's on B, so obviously the obvious thing to do is to move on forward to the A-bomb, all right? There's asset. four people alive, and there's one guy alive in my team. So that means I'm going to go for the bomb plant. The reason why I'm going to go for the bomb plant, it's because I want to get experience, because I'm trying to level up. So even if this dude kills me, like right he did right there, at least I got the experience. You see, when you're a new player in Search and Destroy, you pretty much have no choice. Let me mute these guys. Uh, when you're a new player in Search and Destroy, you are going to suck. You're going to get killed, like, very, 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 very easily. And obviously, to avoid that, that is why, you know, you want to get as much experience as possible. Now, later on, you know, when you're a better player, you know, we're going to be talking about how to get, you know, more kills and, you know, all of that good stuff. But for now, we're just talking about experience, because that is what you want to do. Search and Destroy is the fastest way to level up. Uh, especially when there's double XP because you get 1,000 points per kill. Uh, and yeah, guys, literally what I'm saying here is that right now when you're a noob and when you have no idea what you're doing in Search and Destroy, then you need to play kind of like what I like to say, the numbers game. And you need to go for, you know, as much experience as possible. All right, right here I see this dude. I almost, you know, got killed there. But uh, yeah, I see him, I spot him. I kill him, and now look, I see my minimap, I see this skull, that means an enemy's coming towards me, alright, so I drop shot, but now I only, I see the fucking bomb, right, so I know the enemy team is going to come here to get the bomb, which means that most likely they are going to plan on it, now what do I need to do, I need to, oh wait, I need to kill this guy, oh okay, my bad, so yeah, I actually didn't really see him, but like for example, I'm using the sixth sense perk, right, and you know, obviously I was actually really, really, um grateful that i saw him on the radar you know i kind of choked there you know that happens all right uh you're playing search and destroy uh sometimes you know you really don't know what to do it's kind of in the heat of the moment and you choke that is completely okay all right now look the bomb was on a and you know this dumbass was actually uh you know dumb enough to actually go to b now what you want to do in that situation is if you kill an enemy that's by the bomb you just want to look around if there's nobody around you know plant the freaking bomb uh so i'm going to try to grab the bomb now hopefully that happens all right hopefully that did not happen and now i'm going to go this way i'm going to go towards a the reason for that is it's because i'm not going to go that way with my enemy because i mean with my teammate because sometimes when i do that i get killed 
All right, I'm mainly just scouting out the area right now, seeing, figuring out what moves I can make. All right, so I see this dude here, right? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get killed by that thing probably. Oh no, not really. But yeah, I see some enemies trying to push into our spawns. You know, now I'm mainly going to head back and get a point of a clear uh, line of sight to see the enemy coming through. I'm gonna throw another flashbang back here. Yep, there we go. So what do you guys want to do when you guys are running away from an enemy? You guys want to put yourselves at a spot where you can pretty much see them coming. Like, I knew this guy was coming, but I kind of, you know, anticipated it wrong. And yeah, you know, that's why he killed me. Uh, that's another thing in Search and Destroy. You are going to make mistakes, all right? I don't get 10 kill games in Search and Destroy like every freaking game. You know, sometimes I make mistakes and that's what Search and Destroy is. Like... The whole Call of Duty community kind of has this idea that, you know, search and destroy players are gods and stuff. You really don't have to be a god at search and destroy to be good. I reached rank 43 worldwide in the weekly leaderboards in advanced warfare, mainly by just playing every day and by, you know, getting at least five plus kills every game or by playing the objective uh, very, very effectively. So that mistake that I did there, it's completely cool because uh, I knew what I was doing, I knew the enemy was going to come flank me, but I decided to turn around at, uh, you know, uh, too late, you know, so the enemy was able to kill me. Now, if I would have turned around earlier, I would have been able to kill the enemy. Now, I have my vision pulse here, you know, this completely changes the way players play search and destroy. I'm going to use it here mainly because I want to see if there's any enemies around. I see this dude running over here, I'm going to rush, I'm going to risk it, and it, it did not work out, alright? Now, that's pretty much like I said, just a simple mistake, he knew he was tagged, he turned around, and he was able to uh, get the better of me. I believe he was using an SMG. SMGs are really, really good at close range here. Uh, I had an assault rifle, he completely outplayed me, alright? And like I said, search and destroy, you make mistakes, alright? You can't really expect to be a search and destroy beast, you know, in every single game. I mean, it does happen, I have had games in Advanced Warfare where I would just go from you know getting like one kill to you know i'm gonna ha i have like three games in a row that i get 10 kills and i get like a score of like 2000 you know stuff like that but uh it doesn't happen all the time all right and once you guys have that mentality you guys are going to be good uh search and destroy players because uh when you have the mentality of not trying 100 percent, i mean you do try 100 percent, but you don't really push yourself uh if you're suffering all right that's literally what i'm trying to say Oh, and by the way, that self-revive right there, that's a game-changer, alright? Like, that is a serious, serious game-changer in the Search and Destroy. This guy was able to self-revive, and he somehow got fucked in the ass. But this is actually something that I really don't like. This whole self-resurrect thing, yeah, that's, that's not good. Like, look at that. This dude was able to use it to his advantage, and he was able to uh, kill this enemy. I mean, kill this uh, teammate of mine. So that's pretty much it guys, this is kind of like a search and destroy breakdown. I got 3 kills and I got 5 deaths, alright? So I'm not complaining and you know, I did play against a team that was pretty good. It's my, it's my first game back, uh, I got 400 score, but now we're gonna go to the main menu and we're going to see how much experience I got. For, for example, if you're a casual player, you know, if you play team deathmatch, uh, I pretty much got the experience that you would get playing team deathmatch. Like let's say, you know, you only got 10 kills. And you got like 18 deaths, you know. Uh, and in Search and Destroy, you know, you get 3 kills and a bomb plant, you know, maybe now you get more experience. For example, I got 2,549. Okay, that's not that much. But as we play Search and Destroy more, you know, we keep on getting more experience and we start leveling up faster than we actually uh, level up. Uh, as you guys can see, you know, some of my KD ratios are actually pretty bad. Yeah, that's because I was playing Team Deathmatch. I was getting obliterated. Um, but yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe to join the Sabaha Cartel, and yeah, I'll be bringing you guys more Search and Destroy breakdown videos uh, pretty pretty soon. So, peace out guys, like I said again, like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to join the Sabaha Cartel. Peace.